All right, hey y'all, I'm back with another video, and today, of course, it's a blind day. It's always a blind day. Thank you, Nova. Look what she did. I thought y'all, she just got this, and look, look, she ate it. If you keep eating your toys, no, pay attention, Nova. If you keep eating your toys, you're not going to get no more. Okay? Huh. And don't eat it. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> but, anywho, I still thank God for another day. Um, I'm always thinking about my baby. Move, Nova. No, really? You want to come sit right? You want to come sit right here? Okay. But I'm getting ready to like find something to eat. I feel like some chicken and waffles. Right? We're gonna make some chicken and waffles. My schedule is off. It's like the next day. Cause I woke up at like eleven something almost midnight. Uh yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook because cooking always put me in a, a good mood. Uh takes my mind off of things for the moment so all right y'all look at her she just gotta be all up in my face look say hey say hello look 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 at me looking at you look look right here look Nova Nova okay when you say look that's like cold words for her she start looking around but yeah, so let me get in this kitchen and we'll be back. So, I already defrost my wings. Let me show y'all. See? So, I'm patting all the excess water out. Then, I'm going to season it with some garlic powder, some onion powder. I'm going to use some paprika. I don't know if it really give it flavor. I don't know. To me, it don't. But and I'm gonna add some adobo. I like this stuff. I'm gonna mix this together. I want to add egg to it, like this to give my chicken a little bit more crunch. But I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I don't know. And I don't have no mustard to bind it. So. I'm not sure. See, you got my chicken. Wait, let me show y'all. All seasoned up. And let me show y'all. I got my waffle maker ready. I got my, uh, my waffle mixture. I got my eggs and I already pre-measured my water and the oil that I'm going to use. So, and I got the fryer. Uh, let me move all this out the way. I got the fryer right here, getting hot for the wings. So, I got Hungry Jack. It's for pancakes and waffles. So, I never really used this before. So, unless it's like pancakes, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it today. So, yep, 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 it, yep, yep, yep. All right, I'm back. I decided to use. A egg, just a little light beaded egg. I'll go ahead and mix that over my chicken. Y'all, Nova loves outside. I don't care how cold it is to her, she in heaven. She is most definitely in heaven. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So I didn't dip my my chicken in the in the uh, dry ingredients, and I'm just putting it to the side before I drop it in the grease. So everything is looking good so far. Smelling good, looking good. Hope everything come out good. All right, now that I got the chicken out the way, uh, I got that sitting before I dropped that in the grease. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my waffle batter. Let me let me show y'all so y'all can see. All right, I already got uh, the mix the batter uh, powder in there, whatever you call it, and I'm gonna add the water. I got the earl. I already put it in a cup. The vegetable earl. And it said one egg. Go ahead and add. I think it's too too watery. Oh Lord, I add too much. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little vanilla. Can't go wrong with that. And I'm gonna add some cinnamon. So, Y'all think it's too watery? I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just a little bit more to, to thicken it. I think I added it too much. So We'll be back, y'all. We'll be back. Okay. All right, y'all. I just dropped my chicken. See, got that frying. All right, I'm getting ready to. Add some waffles to the waffle maker. Let's see how this go. I didn't have no, no more uh, butter spray, so I had to like put butter on it. But that's fine. All right, so that's in there. Let's check on this chicken. All right, look at that chicken, y'all. All right, that look good. Look at that. So, look at that waffle. Don't that look good? Don't lie, it, it look good. You can say it. So that's what we felt like eating today because we didn't know what what to eat, what to take out. You know, we eat the same stuff over and over again. And I was going to do a hamburger, but I don't have all the stuff for a hamburger. And I, I don't know if they delivering now with the weather bad. So I didn't take a chance. So we had chicken and waffles. And chicken and waffles is going to be. All right. While I'm waiting on the chicken and the waffles to to cook, uh, I came across one of these uh, letters when the car teachers had wrote us. Uh, let's see, and I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It says, "Dear Corey and Darcia, I remember meeting you at the parent orientation meeting before the first day of school." And before I met Kyron and Kai, I definitely took Corey's words as a warning. You're going to remember my boys. I was ready for the troublemakers. Little did I know that this was a loving father trying to prepare me for the life-changing humans that were about to enter the doors of New Harmony. I am so honored that you trusted us with your precious babies. Your family is a true gift to New Harmony and to me specifically. She said one memory that is making me laugh when he was interviewing for the internship at the screen printing shop. Like how I used to uh, intern making t-shirts. When he came out of the interview, 
He walked out the door and gave me a hug, a huge hug. I asked him how it went, and he said, I nailed it. <laughs> Later, I heard that he was one of the two students selected for the position. It was, re it was relayed to me that the interviewers, Don and Hannah, said that Kai asked them such deep questions. He made them reflect on their own career choices. When I asked Kai what questions he asked, he simply replied, <laughs> that's confidential. That's funny, Kai. This letter is to be continued. I will write more memories. Much love, Kitty. Oh, y'all. Just read this. It's Kai was something. And, and Kitty got on his nerves. That's the part I find very funny, you know. He liked it. He liked it. Huh? He really did. But he had a funny way of showing it sometimes. But that's him. That's his sense of humor, y'all. I miss Kai so much. So, so much. But reading stuff like this, you know, it makes me smile. It makes me sad, but it makes me smile. Because I get to, I know him, you know, we know him like when he's home and he's with us and he's comfortable. But we get to see how other people like experience him and, and, and saw him. And that's cool. She was saying that because when I first, when we first got to the school, I... I remember telling them, y'all gonna remember Kyron and Kai. Like, their names are gonna ring through this place. She thought I was saying that they was horrible kids. <laughs> but, they good kids. All my kids are good kids. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that. You know, it's been hard. It, it's really, really, really been hard. I'd be lying if I say it's been an easy journey. I find good days here and there. But behind the smile, behind the laugh, y'all, I am broken. I just don't know. Every day, I'm just taking it day by day and wait for God to give me a sign and 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 direct our path. Yeah. Well, I don't want to make this whole video sad, but so all right, let me get back to cooking. But we love you, boo. We miss you. We miss you. We miss you so much. Forever, Kai. Forever. Look at that, y'all. Chicken and waffles. Yes, and I got some orange juice and some hot sauce. So, give me a second to set up. All right, I'm back, y'all. This, this looks really, really good. Let me test test out the waffle. It got a little cold. I hate when it get cold. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. But, got some hot sauce. Gotta have hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm. But, 
like I was saying, y'all, it's, it's a struggle. Day by day. That's the only way. I don't know why I got a fall. Because I'm not going to eat with it. I prefer to eat with my hand. Just see, I don't like that. She say that's nasty. No, but you can go sit down. Mm -hmm. This is good, y'all. I'm not just saying that. This is really good. Could you? <clears throat> no, but please don't sit there and watch me. You ate already. Your food, go buy your food. She don't want that. I'll try to give her some uh, egg and rice. Epic fail. She ate the egg and then looked at me. I guess to say, where you going this right? I can't help her. And I don't give her bones. I probably gave it to her one time. I heard they're not good for dogs. We used to give it to our other dog, Lily. Rest in peace, Lily. And Lily ate everything. Lily had. Remember one time she ate Darcy's shrimp sandwich. Darcy had a half a shrimp sandwich. She had, had folded it up. She put it in her purse. And she forgot to take it out of her purse. That's fine, because Lily found it. And Lily went ham on that sandwich. Mm. Syrup is right there behind you. Y'all see her getting old, she couldn't find the syrup. <sighs> Y'all, this, this is a comfort food. Right now, I need all the comfort. be wanting to eat like this all the time. But let me tell you, when you're going through it, you grieving and stressing, eating helps. I don't care what nobody say. But I try to balance it. Y'all, the chill muscle was the basset hound when she was in her other life. 
she sniffed everything. Like if she wash clothes and they don't have the right scent, back in the wash it goes. I ain't gonna lie, them unstoppable. Smelling good. Sometimes, one day I wash, I think I put too much. Yo, I had to like get rid of the blanket. It was smell good overkill. But, uh, yeah, this. Yeah, I just don't know, y'all. Just don't know. But Kai was so excited to get that intern. That was his second one. They had another one at the library, but we wasn't able to get him there because of the schedule. But, <clears throat> see, when he got the one he was supposed to get, he loved it. Mm -hmm. He really, really loved it. I remember when he first made, made some shirts. Where she was drawing on. He was passing it out like Oprah. He was like, you get a shirt, you get a shirt, you get a shirt. But guess what, y'all? Everybody else got a shirt but us. He gave me the last one, like, I guess. And then Yossiel was like, well, where am I? He was like, I got no more. But he was excited. He was so excited. Man, I miss him. And as time go on, to me it gets worse. Some people say time heals all wounds. I ain't buying it. Healing up with me. Just because I've learned how to maneuver with this pain does not mean it healed anything. And how could you be healed from something like this? When you lose a loved one, how do you be healed from it? This one lady on TikTok, I forget her name, but she said something that was kind of like, like one day, you know, you use your, your right hand for everything. That's how you write. That's how you, you know, that's your hand. And then one day it's chopped off. And now you have to, now you have to use your left hand. It's not easy. And I thought that was like a good metaphor. You have to like learn to live without this person. Not easy at all. I'm not gonna honestly say I don't like it. I 
do not like living without my baby. I don't even like this new life. I'm thankful, but I don't like it. I now have a better understanding of of dead people and myself. And it's crazy that time has passed, but I feel like we still stuck. We still stuck and don't know how to get unstuck. I pray don't get me wrong I couldn't have, I couldn't have made it this far without God let me say that but I'm still human. And I'm just, just broken, y'all. And my baby passed, a uh, part of me passed too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I try not to sit in. When you're sitting and thinking, you start reliving everything. And once you get in that spot, it's hard to it's hard to break away. Some days I'm strong. Some days I am weak. I am. Especially since it's approaching his anniversary. Yeah, but we keep 
push it on. I'm gonna keep doing this YouTube thing for Kai. He would have had a ball doing this show. I know he wanted to play a game and scream and doing little challenges and. <sighs> One day I'll show y'all his um, his shelf with all the things that he loved. But yeah, but I'm not gonna hold y'all. I just wanted to show y'all what another day in the life of me and my family and and what we're going through so but i know better days are coming better days are coming so if anybody out there going through dealing with a loss you know keep your head up um Give it to God and take it one day at a time. Scratch that one second, one minute, one hour, then one day, then the next. Like, take baby steps and don't let nobody rush your process. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to not want. It's okay, whatever it is. Whatever is okay for you. It's okay for you. It's okay. You don't need nobody, uh, you know, permission. You don't need nobody blessings to look. If you okay with it and it gives you comfort, then that's what you do. So, with that being said, y'all, I'm out. And I'll see y'all in the next video. By Emma Kai.